Hey guys, this is Jay Mills from iPhoneBlogger.com. Uh, I'm sure you heard the news already, but in case you haven't, the uh, untethered 5.0.1 jailbreak has been released for A4 devices. So that would be iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, uh, any other device that can run iOS 5.0.1 and um, is an A4 device. So basically everything except for the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S right now. So as you can see, I got my phone here. It's on 5.0.1, and I just got this new Red Snow. It's uh, 0.9.10 B1. So basically, you're just going to want to open up Red Snow here and just hit the jailbreak button. And then on this screen, it's going to walk you through putting your device into DFU mode. You don't have to follow the on-screen instructions. You could just do it yourself, so I'll do that right now. So you're just going to hold home and power for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, release power, but continue holding home for another 10 seconds. And then it's automatically going to go to the next step for you. And right now it has detected my device and it's exploiting with Lime Rain, which is a boot ROM exploit that only works on A4 devices. This is the only reason why it's not um, for the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2 yet. And it's because um, for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2, there needs to be a different different uh, method of install, installing the exploit. And since the boot ROM exploit doesn't exist on the A5 device, that's what Pod2G is working on right now. So as you can see, my computer um, is doing this all automatically. And now you get to this screen. And this is very important for people that are on a Tether jailbreak currently. Um, right now, my phone is on a stock iOS 5.0.1 firmware. But um, if you were previously on a tethered version of iOS 5.0.1, you'd want to uncheck this box right here that says install Cydia. You don't want to reinstall Cydia if it's already installed because it'll corrupt it. So if, the, if you're on a factory firmware right now like I am with no jailbreak, you're, wanting, you're going to want to leave install Cydia checked. If you're already tethered on an earlier version of Red Snow, you want to uncheck install Cydia. But that's the only option you need to worry about. So after you do that, just hit next. This process is all automatic again. You'll see on the phone um, that it's downloading jailbreak data. This is all automatic for you. So basically after this is done, you're going to be good to go. And obviously it's an untethered jailbreak, so unlike before, you're not going to have to use the just boot option anymore. So now it says done on my computer, as you can see here. And you'll see the verbose boot right here um, while, it's, while it's exploiting. All right, so the jailbreak's done, so just to show you that this is untethered, I'll take out the cable now because you don't need it. The phone will be untethered right when you get done jailbreaking, so it'll just boot normally. You can go ahead and um, close out a red snow now if you want. All right, slide to unlock. And then as you can see, if I go to the end here, I've got Cydia, and it opens right away. No need to boot tethered. So that's all there is to it. Um, after you're done, it's just like any other jailbreak that we've ever had. So that's it. Enjoy.